Howdy folks, Spencer here, and today I'm going to be opening up a thousand of the brand new last generation lockboxes over on the triple test server. As always, chapters are listed down below. First things first, for those of you not familiar with what the drop rates are like for lockboxes or promo packs in Star Trek Online, I have a video which I'll have linked down below that goes over all of that and also how the pity system in the game works. And the other big note here is, of course, that I am doing this opening on the Tribble test server. So if you see someone down in the comment section typing up that they can't believe that I just opened a thousand dollars worth of lockboxes, that person did not watch this far into the video. I'm opening on the Tribble test server, which means that I am copying keys and lockboxes over from the live server over to the Tribble test server. So I have opened quite a few of these lockboxes on the live server. In fact, I'm at the pity point now for this lockbox and I still haven't gotten the ship. So I have opened about 320 of these on the live server and not received a ship so far. So I'm going to copy over my casual sab character over to the trouble test server. And I'm going to start this opening off by just opening up a couple of boxes over there to, to see just how far away I am from getting the Deuter stat. So let's hop back on over to Tribble. I'm gonna swap to the character I just copied over, Casual Sab 59. Again, you know, I'm doing this opening on the Tribble test server. So this is not real keys that I'm using. These are keys that I copied from the live server that I can copy over an infinite amount of times. For example, I can show you a fleet bank here you know, full of keys, full of ships. Like this is not the live server. This is literally a test server, but the drop rates are the same for, for lock boxes. Okay, so casual sab 59, as soon as it loads here. Let's see how many lock boxes I have to open now that I'm at the pity point on this character to, to go in and get a ship. So I'm gonna grab some keys from the bank here. And the again, the way that this works is that once you're over like 304, right around there, uh, boxes opened, um, your chance to win a ship goes up to, I think it's like 2.9%. So it's, it's a pretty good chance compared to what it is by default. There we go. So it was like another 30 keys. So yeah, that was a bit rough. Uh, that tells me that on the live server, I, I'm pretty close, you know, of course, to, to get in the Deuter stat, but it's still a ways to go. Okay, so I'm going to clear my inventory on this character now, and I'm going to start ripping open the thousand keys. So I'll cut over to that. Okay, it was a bit easier for me to just swap to a character that already had a cleared inventory. So I've done that instead. I've got a thousand master keys here and a stack of the last generation lockbox. I do have the chat log command enabled. So any of you that want to go in and analyze the, the raw data here to see the duration between ships and all that, I'll have that text file link down below. So without further ado, I'm going to start here. And to make this easier, I am going to be using a function on my mouse where I can hold down a button and it'll just keep spamming left click for me. So I'm going to have that to go 10 times a second to hopefully speed up this opening. And here we go. Let's see if I can move this over to make it not be in the way as much. So there's the first Deuter stat. Let's see if I can move this over just a smidge more.
So, I'm just over 400 boxes in and two duder stats so far. I want to see what happens if I take the speed up to 20 here. See if I can get these ripped open a bit faster. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's going... Look at the lockbox keys. The, the stack is going away so fast. Yeah, that's, that's going fast enough. I don't want to be, like, hit by an automated system for, for spamming it too much. Let's take it back down to 10. Um, But I did get a third ship there, it looked like. So let me take a look here. The overflow is just absolutely flooded right now. Okay, so let's give it get a count here on the number of Duder stats I received. So I received a total of five. So that was one for every 200 boxes there. That's a bit better than the, the typical odds you would see with most lockboxes. But of course, that's RNG. Like I, I just mentioned, over on the live server, I've already opened 320 of, 320 of these lockboxes and I have yet to receive a single ship. And that's just the way that RNG goes in stow. Sometimes you're going to get lucky and get a ship very early on, and sometimes it will take you an incredibly long time to go in and actually get a ship from a lockbox. So I'm going to go through now, uh, just count up every one of the items that I received here, and port them over to the Excel spreadsheet so that I can see exactly how much EC I would have lost or gained had I done this opening over on the live server. And now it's time to take a look at the results. All of the data on here is based on the current exchange prices as of me recording this on January 29th, 2024 at 840 PM Central Standard Time. Now the current price of keys is 12.1 million and as you can see here, if I were doing this opening on the live server, I would have spent 12.1 billion EC to go in and get a return of 10.4 billion. In other words, if I would if I had done this opening on the live server, I would have just lost 1.7 billion EC. So that is even with me getting five ships. Typically from a thousand lock boxes, you would only see four ships. So I got lucky here and got an extra ship, and it still is a negative result. So if you were wondering if this is a lockbox to open to try and make a profit, it ain't the case. If you're trying to make a profit opening lockboxes, you need to stick to either the Infinity lockbox or the Borg one. This is not going to be a lockbox that you're going to want to open long term. And even short term, the, the value of a lot of the items in this lockbox have tanked quite a bit. I've seen people posting the kit modules for less than what they could get if they just took them to a vendor. Um, I picked up a couple of the, the transporter filters earlier for 10k per, and I took them right over to a vendor next to the exchange and sold them for 13k per. So the some of these things are just insanely cheap, and they're going to continue losing value over time. So 
should you open this lockbox? Honestly, no. If you want the ship, go in, sell some keys on the exchange, and just buy it with EC. This, all of this stuff is going to continue getting cheaper and cheaper. The Duderstat really is not that impressive of a ship. So the value of that is probably going to continue to tank as well. I would not be surprised if we see that hit like 1.1 bill or even maybe a bill at some point here in the next month. So again, if you really want the ship or any of the items from this lockbox, just sell master keys and just directly buy them off the exchange. If you want to open a lockbox to get lobby or whatever, then just open the Infinity lockbox or the Borg lockbox. Either of those are actually going to net you at least a, a break-even return on what you put into them. So I, I would highly recommend you just stick to those rather than trying to open the last generation lockbox. And again, all of the raw data here and the spreadsheet will be linked down below in the description. So for those of you that want to take a closer look, it'll all be there. That's going to be it, though, for today. Again, thank you to all channel members and viewers for the continued support. See you guys around.